So being a member has its perks. Shout out to Brandon for being a not only a Patreon, but a member on YouTube also. And in my last video I put out, he asked for some film on Justice Hill, and I immediately obliged when found some Justice Hill tape, and here's the result of that. Justice Hill, six carries for 60 yards. Let's go. Now as we take a look at his first carry, it was for 11 yards, and let's see it from, we'll let it play through from the All-22 view, and we'll kind of break it down from the uh, end zone view. It's like a long trap to me. It's like a long trap on Judon. You know, for those that don't know, break down long trap. Short trap or a regular trap would be to not block this guy and then somebody that's, you know, either him or the, the guard or the tackle come to it and kind of bang him out and you kind of hit up the middle. Long trap, you're trapping Judon. So watch everybody that's going to kind of block down. And I think Zyla pulls the Judon. I think it's Zyla, but Zyla or Moses, one of these guys, is going to pull the Judon. And that just bringing him over widens Judon out and make it easier for the trap to happen from whoever's pulling from this right side. So it's Zyla pulling. Ricard does a great job of not letting Judon impede him. He's going to dip that shoulder and get around, then try to get up on the other level. Fon Lele's got the help with the double team. And coming off to that guy right there, which is, you know, one of his strengths, being able to down block and not run outside zone. And then you see Zyla coming to bang on Judon for the long trap. And Justice hits it. Now, unlike last week, when we come, we clowned him about having a huge hole, which he has one now, he going to hit that thing right there. Got that by the turn. Stuck it in the ground for 11 yards. Great run and great vision not to... <laughs> Because I know we clowned him last week about it. <laughs> All right, on this play right here, you're going to get a little outside zone. And again, we'll watch it here first. Not a bad run. Got like nine yards. Earlier, we ran the outside zone to Falele, and he wasn't able to control the edge. Let's, as, I know this is Justice Hill film, but let's see what Falele do, does to, to Wise on this one. Because early we ran outside zone and Wise kind of set the edge on him and the running back ran into the tackle. I don't know if it was Hill or, or Dobbins. I think it was Dobbins. So now you, you're good so far. Everybody's working in unison to the outside. And so instead of Falele on the edge, now, now you got Ricard helping out. Got a good turn by, um, who is this, uh, Powers. Powers is in a great position. Powell's got, to, Powell's got to try to work to this outside shoulder. He's in a great position. All right, and it's supposed to be a double. But when Powell's gets to that outside shoulder, now Linderbaum needs to turn up and try to get to the linebacker. He sees that, but look how fast Linderbaum moves. Look how much faster he is than the rest of the lineman getting down that line. Now, when we get to this point, he could take this block over, which is amazing. And then Zyla can come off, not Zyla, uh, Powell's can come off and seal the outside linebacker. But what happens is they all kind of run into this big old bubble and the, the linebacker kind of overplays it. So Justice sees that. That's where he's trying to go. And it's a, it's a big old mess. Look at this pancake right here. Ricard got a pancake. Look at the vision to cut it back. The being to cut it back. It's a good run. Good run. He work, he's, pressing, he's pressing his gap. His gap is all outside of Falele. If Falele hooks... He's supposed to cut it up in there. If Falele gets beat, then he's going to bounce it outside. He's pressing it, pressing it, pressing it. That, his hand is on his read. His hand is on his read. Good job of Linderbaum of siffing it out too and finishing the run. Look at Linderbaum finish with a pancake. Look at him. So we got two pancakes on this one. We got uh, Ricard and you got Linderbaum. Now let's look at Falele going to work. He finally got his hands on it. When he gets his hands on it, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. And that's a DB. That's a good run by Justice Hill, too. Not overplaying it, being patient, and understanding. Let the block develop before I just go run up in there. All right, this next run. 
It's the very next play. The very next play. Feed the hot hand. The call coming in motion. Bangs on Judon. It's another pancake. Two pancakes in a row for Ricard. Just until he sees it. He's out the gate. He's out the gate. So let's see. I think this is some kind of power, I think. Let's see. Yeah. Version of power. And then what it is is Judon knows they love to do that stuff, so he just he crashes hard. And um Ricard does a great job of seeing it and then just, you know, going to work. Because you got your down blocks, you got your down block, got your down block, you got Ben Powers pulling for the linebacker, you got Ricard pulling for the first thing that shows up off the edge, which happens to be Judon. Boom. Great job. Great job, the Ricard Pancake. Now, now he's headed outside. Sees this good block by Mark pinning him out. Got this gap right here. Watch him stick his foot in the ground and get north and south. Boom. North and south. Now, because this guy's coming down here so hard, just as he'll seize him, has a head of steam, he can use that athletic ability and speed he got. Boop, stick in the ground, go. Now, I'm just going to outrun you. Uh, who is that? Oh. Uh, Robinson down there trying to get a block, which helped him out. It's a great run. Great run from a guy that we, some of us didn't even expect to be on the team. Thought we was only going to see him as a gunner. And, you know, I for myself thought that too. I'm going to throw this little bonus in now. Look at, look at Justice trying to do some of the dirty work. I'm going to throw this bonus one in. This is not a carry for Justice Hill. Got a little fight about him, though. That's what I like. Lead block on Jess Week. This is him blocking... It's probably better from the All-22. It don't look that good. That's the DB. Let me go back to the All-22. See if you can see it better. All right. This is here right here. Bad circle. Watch. Hands in the right spot. Great placement. It gets, it gets whooped a little bit toward the end, but look at the fight. Just keep fighting. Just keep fighting. And that allowed Duvernay to turn the corner. That allowed Duvernay to turn the corner. Good team guy, which is what he is. Nice little first down run right here. Get you into the second and medium. And powered up in there too. Hit, hit, him sticking his, his, uh, his nose down in there and powering up in there. Got him an extra two yards. Let's see what, what kind of play we get. Got three tight ends in. One back power. One back power. So with one back power, since you got a tight end over here, he's going to take care of the end. They should double team to number eight. So Ricard and Fowler, they should double team to number eight. Zeitler should pull to number three. Um, and Moses should try to pick and hinge that and seal that backside off. All he has to do is press it and then get behind this puller. Because right now you got a huge hole. Got a huge hole. But at the end, he has to follow this guy. Because if he just runs up in there, that's a tackle, you know, for no gain or a loss. So he has to bend it behind his puller. He, he gets right behind Zyla. Zyla turns up. He turns up right behind him. And they kind of get off late. Ricard gets a piece of, of three. But watch at this point, just as he'll say, F it. And put his head down and go get some yards. Right there. Boom. Another, like one or two yards right there. Just on effort. A nice four-yard play. First down play for four yards. And this is the last run I have for him, which is, uh, it's only a yard, so we'll kind of talk about it and end it right after this one. It looks like they run something similar to the same side and only got one yard. Is this the same play other side, maybe? And mark in motion. No, nah, this is just, uh, I think this is outside zone. I think. Let's see. Let's see Hill's path. Hill's, Hill's path will tell me what, what it is. This is outside zone, yeah. Outside zone. I don't know why Mark leaves him. 
Zaya was pulling around Moses to kick out. Why are you trying to get a little sneaky there, Roman? I see you. I see you trying to run a little trap. A little outside trap. I see you being a little sneaky, Roman. I see you. Trying to get in your little vault a little bit. I see you. All right, but again, he's avoiding him. So the so the puller can wipe this in out, and they're going to try to hit it right off 70. Right off Zyla. There it is. Just everybody, hat on a hat, hat on a hat, hat on a hat, hat on a hat. Look at Linderbaum on the second level going to work. So he should be able to turn in there if Powell was coming off and get that guy. Ah, who lost? Moses lost. Moses didn't sustain his block. Ah. The interior guys did good. The guards in the center. The tackle didn't do good. But again, that's Justice Hill's last. Uh, <laughs> oh, so I just subscribed while I was not online and live. Appreciate whoever did that. I'll look at it in a minute. I can't see it. Um, Troy Fleming, that's who it is. Appreciate you, Troy Fleming, for subscribing while I'm working on this. But again, the perks of, of being a member and being a subscriber, not a subscriber, a member and a Patreon, you can requ requ request film. And Brandon did that. You know, that's what we got. So we got a quick Justice Hill film. And he six carries for 60 yards. And see y'all soon, man. Peace. Again, thank you, Brandon.